Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a VR for um, BBGS Bob Shields. Now, Bob wants us to tell him all about how we purify our water. Well, there's a great number of ways I would purify water. Let's see. Uh, I could start off with this and the filter that goes with it. This is uh, Sawyer Squeeze. Showed this in my Christmas swag video. Or, now I mentioned this stove in a video I just did for Up Trail 71 about my cookware, stoves, and food pots. This I couldn't show in that video because it was out on loan to my brother-in-law and nephew for the nephew's boy scouting function along with this pot. This was one of my three I told you I only had the one with me. This is why. They were out with this and the other pot just like it so that uh, they could cook at the Boy Scout deal. Or I could boil in this over the stove. Or, and of course there's the stoves I showed in that other video, my big propane two burner or, or um, alcohol stoves that I had out. Guess what? I got another thing I could do. Or I could use that stainless steel grate that I showed you and put it over a wood fire. Or if we're in a um, no open burning season around here, I've showed you all this back when I made it. This is my, now if I can get the thing to come out, this is my Ranger stove. Which is simply a wood gasification stove. This is to catch the ash, so that I can use it for things like, oh, I don't know, uh, traction on my hands for a hand drill, for, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, let's see, how about uh, making fire roll? And that's a video I will be doing upcoming in the very near future is fire roll. See, for me, oh, and uh, I even have a snuffer lid for that put the fire out with if I need it. For me, when I do fire roll, there, there are a lot of, well, I'll save that for the fire roll video. How else other than my filter and boiling could I purify water? Oh, on the boiling. We've always got one of these. Now you all have seen this thing. I did a video not that long back on it. Fire kit that I won in a giveaway from Yoper, Sur Yoper Survivor. That's right, he told me I was mispronouncing that, but that's all right. We got it straight now. And I did a video on making these not that long ago. All I'd have to do is, and this is full by the way, this is not an empty. Open it up, spreaders in, and hang it over a fire. That's what these are for. Uh, now, if I can't, for some reason, boil water, uh, burn bands, or uh, should I be uh, trying to evade somebody hot on my heels uh, wanting to do me dastardly harm, well, I can always turn to chemical purification. Not my first choice, not the choice I would make if I had any other, but... set that bad boy down. If I had to purify water, I would turn to this kit right here. What you see in here, and on the other side in there, are straws. Now I have, didn't bring it with me today, I forgot to. I have a special plastic 8 ounce bottle. I would fill it with any water source I had available to me. I would then crack one of these bad boys open, 
dump the contents in, close the bottle, shake it up, and wait four hours. is contained within this straw it's not something you want to put in your mouth straight it's calcium hypochlorite chlorate chloride whatever when added to eight ounces of any kind of water and allowed to sit in the sun so it thoroughly dissolves over the course of four hours you will now have stock chlorine it is chemically equivalent to a freshly minted bottle of Clorox. If you look on the back of any Clorox bottle, this is the active ingredient in the jug. Now, this is not enough to make a gallon of bleach. It makes eight ounces. When that eight ounces is applied to water in a one quart container, preferably with a lid, that's what this is, one quart. But since that's what I happen to have handy, that's what I'll show you. At a rate of between one and ten drops, depending on turbidity, meaning how muddy looking the water is. Uh, the muddier looking, the more you need to add. And then you wait 60 minutes. At the end of 60 minutes, it's chemically, or excuse me, biologically safe to drink meaning you've killed any pathogens, uh, viruses, um, Giardia, Crypto, so on. Personally, I wouldn't use this water flowing in this river behind me, not even to wash my truck in. This is the Connecticut River. And as far as I know, from last time I bothered to look into it, one of the most polluted rivers in the country. And like I said, I won't even cast the line into this river, let alone eat the fish or drink the water. Well, here's the point. Uh, just over yonder there is a stream that comes from inland. Now, that water I would dip up and purify, but not the stuff behind me. Well, that's how I would go about purifying water, one of those three potential ways. Now, in case I didn't mention it, uh, my friend out there, my new friend out there, Bob, this is a sub appreciation giveaway he's doing. And he's giving away a brand new water filter. Now, I have didn't happen to write down the name of the filter uh, when I was watching his video. But I've seen them before. They're one of these pump jobbers. And I remember looking it up right after he showed it. And it looks like it's about a $60 or $70 pump. That's a very nice giveaway. Class A, Bob. Uh, you haven't seen Bob. You haven't seen his channel. I'll leave a link down below. Go check him out. If you like what you see, sub him up. Tell them Emperado Peace out. By the way, don't forget to.